All right, this is the last segment of this video. I'm heading home. Did a kind of a loop through a couple of my uh, rental properties that I own. Showed them off a little bit. Testing out the landscape view versus uh, the portrait view. Which, portrait view worked good for me, but I don't think so good for the people that watch these, so. Oh, she was cute driving a Camaro. Oh no, it's a Dodge. Here, let me reverse this. Woo, see ya, honey. That's what happens when you're 50 and single. Pretty much like anything that walks. All right, I'm gonna fire this baby up. We're gonna see if we can squeeze into traffic here soon, because there's a lot of it. I'm parked here with my kickstand down, and I got people waving me on, like to go. <laughs> I'm sitting on the bike with the kickstand down, they're waving me on to go. All right, now I'm gonna flip it. Another Dodge. That wasn't the same one, though, by the way. All right. We're in a four-way. Rich way. Life. We're going to make a good run for it here. So up there, down the road, you probably see nothing but wiggly stuff. After our next uh, four-way, Yeah, roundabout to get back on the road that is uh, where I live. What do we got here? Is it for sale? Sure is. We have to come in BMW. Chad, you know all about those. I don't know anything about them, so I probably don't want one. I know everything about Hondas. Ooh, she's cute. Hey, look at her smiling at me. Oh, look at those cute girls. There's cute girls everywhere in this house. Weather. We had to do some showing off. Can't do a wheelie because this bike is more of a cruiser, not a sport bike. Well, it kind of looks like it. It's got bearings. And the park, it looks like. all day. I've been averaging about three hours a day riding in the last week. My record was I think on Tuesday, or no, Monday, I put I went through two, two tanks of gas in this bike, just riding around randomly around Green Bay in the suburbs. And a little bit outside of Green Bay, I went out and saw my the house I grew up in and whatnot. I'm driving in the bike lane right now because I don't pass an idiot. There's an idiot. <laughs> now I know which side to slide from. I'm gonna put you back to the front. Alright. So we're coming back at that shell from a different direction. But it's the same roundabout. I'm gonna run this roundabout right up the hill called Scrays Hill to my house. Created this 
spike with the HID uh, LED bulb. Or not HID, LED. And I thought that would help with that. But for some reason, I think it's really not the bike. It's not my driving either. It's just people aren't paying attention. I think they're used to the COVID driving. Where you didn't have to put your turn signal on. You didn't have to stop at the stop signs. Nothing. Anyway, one other thing I'd like to say about this bike. Is I've been riding it in 95 degree weather a lot lately. 90 to 98 degree weather. The last probably 10 days, of, 8 of them have been in that. And uh, I only saw the temperature gauge on this 30 year old bike over halfway once. And it was just a smidge over while I was driving around in town and then idling a lot. So I'm just frankly amazed because I've had a lot of newer bikes that just can't handle hot weather. They just can't do it. garbage guy with the automatic garbage thing put it down right on the mailbox so I refuse to replace it all right see how the auto ride into the garage works and if the auto focus will handle that it's just dark in here well so far so good probably because you like the headlight on I'm going to turn the headlight out, turn the bike off, and we'll see how it goes. Not so good. Because the backlight sucks. Anyway. So. That's the end of the videos. Just pulled the phone. I'm going to walk out. Check out what's going on out here. Not much, I'd say. Not much at all. What a beautiful day. Anyway, so final thoughts. I said this like six times. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, because I'm new at this and I want to try to get some subscribers. Put a comment down there, maybe, if you got the guts. Looks like my hand was blocking the camera. See, these are the things I got to get better at and it got red eye somehow anyway thanks again go back to looking cool see you at the next YouTube video hopefully tomorrow we'll have another one on a good ride and we'll keep improving the quality of the videos thanks